Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tati Treasures. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so I'm here to do another page spread. I have cut all the birdie pieces. I've obviously cut more than what I want and I've inked around them to save some time. I am hoping to, to get this finished off today. So I might just do one long video and, and get it finished. So, these are the papers that I'm going to be using. Oh, you won't credit it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, thingy enough. Um, <clears throat> so, I need to decide who's going where. And I think... I think I'm going to have that one there because... There's a bit more room to play with. So let me rip down here. Like so. Yeah, that's better. And then that's the end. So if I perhaps do it just about there have a look at that oh that's perfect I'm going to say I can just put something there to cover cover the number yeah so that's fine for that and then this top part I was thinking I could just use the the top bit so if I go just a smidgen who's highest i guess the bigger bird yeah so if i go there i will keep that and fussy cut it out for something else so it is a bit short but it doesn't matter so i don't know if then I'll oh, see so if I have that there and then put the thumb hole in, it's going to take some of his beak off. So, right, that wants to be a little bit thinner. <coughs> so, it's not straight, that's straight about there. <coughs> Oh, that's not too bad. Right, so they're going to go there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make this into a journal card. So it's going to want to be a bit longer. So if I go there... And that can be the journal card for inside so i think i think we're sorted so let's get these inked and glued on not too sure what I'm going to do with the next two pages I don't know if I've got anything <coughs> plainish that I can put down um, it's just two writing pages that there it is a little bit blocked up let me just give it a bit of a 
it enough came out to do to do that bit right that's the inside isn't it so this is this piece so if i go the same there as that side and then if i say that's the middle i think i did it just with a one inch Yeah, it's a little bit lower than I wanted, but that's fine. So I can put some vent over there. Ink all around here. up with the hole yep okay Just... okay right let's see what <coughs> tape I've got to put <coughs> put across there um could you use the Seeing as that's got got it in the in the paper, so if I just rip that off there, kind of like putting that there, and then just bend that over that side. So that's that covered. Okay, let's um, see if we need any of this card. Yeah, I'm gonna so I go down to that. Yeah, so I think it needs a little bit off that. So I'm gonna go right up to the <clears throat> to the beak. go in a lot better and very flimsy until so yeah that's fine i think it it'll go in even more yeah so i'm gonna pause i'm gonna ink around it and just back it on some of my um scrap card what i've been um gathering on the trash tuesday so i'll just back it into that so i'll see you in a tick Okay, I've inked around that, so hopefully that'll go in um, a bit better. I'm not putting tabs on them because I don't want things sticking out the book. I know um, 
at the beginning I think had something sticking out but um yeah I think unless it's lace so it's bendy um I don't think putting tabs everywhere is a good idea so that's that one so yeah it's, it's a little bit sticking out but nothing nothing major right let's have a look at these pieces so oh i've got a bird pocket here so that's a possibility or i've got these little files here possibly a little bit wide and that's the same bird i wouldn't want to use the same so that's a possibility so if I add it at the top, I'm just thinking then that would give you right in space. But then I don't know. You just cut the tab down a little bit. So if that was at the top of the box, yeah, that might work. I quite like that. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to ink around that. And I'm not putting pockets in it or anything. It is um, for writing in. cover it and that what I've just covered but <laughs> that doesn't matter if I try if I don't you know try to hide it probably wouldn't have even hid it so it's, so I'm gonna stick that and then I'm gonna leave the side open so let's use the so I'm going to glue across there, up there, up there, I'll have a little stamp in, just for a bit of interest when you open it up. thinking that these could go here how much would they get lost hmm quite a bit hmm that's a shame but it's too late now to I should have checked and then I could have glued to that um, you know what I'm thinking, let me, I'm thinking, is that 
two. It shouldn't be too wide in theory. It's not, yeah, you know that it's not, it's too long. No, it's lifting that up. Right. So I've just stuck a little play on and I'm going to put a, a tab there. So let me just ink around them. something in because I'm keep uh, pushing that bit up. So yeah, that's perfect. Right, I leave that to, to dry. So that's that. Yeah, it just sticks, sticks out a fraction but I'm loving that. Mm. So that's that. Could perhaps do with clipping that down somehow. I wonder if just to put I've got a paper clip here. And um, let me just Let's get a little bit of green ribbon. I'm just going to put some ribbon on it. So it's um, easier to pull pull out. I will have to cut out again. Sorry, glue. You will get a chance to glue down at some point. I don't have to knot that. that side the 
this this is like a side blunt for, for fabric right so that's fine let's just get another bit of glue down this side right leave it alone now so yeah i like that that was funny something came out of nothing i like it when when that happens it doesn't always does it all the time right i've got a bit of a um spine thing here i don't i've not actually got any more tags left but I could have a removable file no it's too much too much no it did look much. shall i just put it in i don't have to just put it in anyway I think it needs it or does it need something there I think it does need um some some brown to, to tone it out a bit I am preferring it there then if I do leave it open <coughs> then um whoever wins this journal can you know decide if they want to put anything in there or not so i'll just glue across the top down the side Oh, right, okay. Whew, <laughs> that felt really weird. But I'd kind of stuck myself onto another page. Okay. So, I think... that one in pop that in and that one and that one and then there's a little bit of something something in there so that can go back like so I don't know I'm still like oh should I should have just put that in You know, I'm going to, because I think that's quite fun. So let me just ink the inside of that. And obviously this can be used in, in another project or just as a another writing spot. with that and that's the, the journal card Oof. that I feel like that's a bit bare but if you bring in that down to write on it you don't really want anything um, there so that's two pages I can call that a bit. Um, let's see what I've got. Go in there. 
Right, I've just quickly inked around that bit. Um, I'm going to put that on the last page. I think that's lovely. So let's get, I think I'll do this side first. So if I take it to there, um, let me just reach and get that ruler. So take it, hopefully that side will be big enough. Um, for there, yeah, too big, <laughs> too big. Right, take that top bit off. Let's have a look at height wise. So we're going to about there. So I'll say that's about that. Yep, fine with that. And then from that, let's put it straight ish. Oh, cool. I don't know why I'm measuring it all with this wooden thing, like, you know, that's mega straight <laughs> feel like I might have gone in too too thin oh no well it's a bit slanty so what I'm gonna do is <coughs> I am just going to run some tape down here don't want it to go right to the top because obviously the paper doesn't go to the top. So I'm just going to run that down there and then that will cover up my little mistake. <clears throat> That's it. Oh, come on. I just want a little bit off there. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's ink around this. And then I think with whatever pages we've got left, shall collage the back two uh, pages. Yeah, that looks better, but I am just going to darken around here a little bit more. Let's get down here where I've Yep, quite happy with that. So, <clears throat> I think, yes, I did in colour there. Let's get some glue around this. So, I will probably put the material on the spine um, tomorrow. I won't film that, I'll just you'll see it on the flip through but yeah I feel like I need to do that as a first job not not a last job of the of the day because towards the end of the day I don't know about you but I do start doing silly silly mistakes <laughs> like this <laughs> like this exactly like this Some people are better, aren't they? At, towards the evening, I'm like, as soon as it's tea time. I mean, we are our tea really late, but as soon as it is that kind of time, I'm just like, oh, tea in bed. Tea in bed time for me. 
So yeah, that's not majorly straight, but. That's that. Um, let's have a look at this. <coughs> so let's just take that. Well, I'll take this bit off because it's probably easier to take off. So that's the top. Then I want the bottom like that. It's a bit hard to see that. <coughs> Um, it's going to want to be about there. <clears throat> because that's over there um, I'm just going to put oh let's do it I'll do it the other way some down there I think before I start collaging I'm going to go make myself a cup of coffee and then we will get it done. going to put some of this tape down here. I'm going to say I've gone really wonky down this bit. Do you think this is what washi tape was invented for? But it, it is brilliant for for doing things like this and I do love the two molds. I'm not so keen on those I mean, I've got a couple of florally ones, but I, I prefer the um, I don't know, like more masculine ones, more grungy ones. Gosh, this is hard to get. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I like that. So, as such, that is the final pages, isn't it? So, wow. What is she looking like? I don't, I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad at all. Oh, I think it's lovely. Just even to just look at it from that side, it's like, wow, what's going off in there? <laughs> yeah, 
it does make you want to look look inside it beautiful but yeah you can feel where it's bowing so i don't know how those big um books go on <laughs> so i want a break go make a drink i love that i think that's turned out really nice that could be one of my favorite pages I love that one as well. And that one. I'm going to say I know it's dark, but um, yeah, I really like that one. That's... I like that one. <laughs> These were good as well, but the others are very similar papers. I mean, that's the same. And this one. I like most of them. I love that one. Yeah, overall I'm really, really happy with that. I, mean, I think that's pretty simple, but I do really like that page. I think the colours and with the paper there. And then with the straw paper and the decorator's paper there, I think it's really nice tones. And I do love the front page. Yeah, I was so chuffed when I made that. So, I shall pause and then we shall, I think, need to first tape all around and tape down there um, so you can't see any of that. So, let's get some lids on. <clears throat> I haven't actually got that much paper um left left over to be honest i mean this can be one of his first pieces of paper so yeah there's, there's not a lot at all um i'm wondering if it no it's a bit big to put that in yeah i'll fussy cut that that out um, so yeah they are mainly um, brown ones love that I wonder if to do it in that you know and then just have a botanical there yeah, I think I'm leaning towards that, you know. What's that? Yeah, that is the middle-ish. How much would you lose? So you don't have to go right to the top because it's going to all have this tape on. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you know. And then, like I say, I've, I've a big botanical and a, a big label. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So, I'm still going to go and make a drink. <laughs> Because I'm absolutely famished. Famished? Do you say famished when you're Thursday? I'm Thursday. Extremely so. Right, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, <coughs> so what I'm thinking is I'm going to go around it with the paper trimmer. Um, because I would like straight edges. Just want to go in. what I'm going to do is get the middle like so it's middle-ish so get 
the bottom and the top. Okay, so the top bit wants to go about there. So the bottom bit. I'm wondering if I could take it to about there. Yeah. So let's measure that up against that. No, I think that'd be too much. That's right. Okay. <laughs> right. Measure that up against and that one to get the height. that they're still together. Okay. So it's fine that way. Let's say it wants to come in to about there. about that <laughs> and I'll just measure the second one up so this out the way so it's trying to look at this side more than the other side so it's straight <laughs> this together I hope both sides are, are the same <laughs> you would think so wouldn't you right I think that could be okay Ooh. is that one a little bit wider a little bit from the middle might need some more and just a touch okay so I'm going to get this tape and I'm going to cut it off straight first. Have I got my scissors out? I think they're over here. So cut it straight to begin with. And I know I've already got it here but I want to go the full the full width. Move those out the way. So, that's awkward. 
right. So it's so hard to get to it and keep on camera. Just need to be able to get it. Let's lift it back up. Right, I'm gonna go in for sure for that because it was it was just too much, too much. Right now, I'm going to take this again. Let me just get a straight corner um, edge, and I'm gonna take this right up to there. I've got it though. And then, right, let me move it around because I want to get right up into that edge. <laughs> My head's about on the camera. <laughs> Don't think that's straight enough, but what I'm going to do is cut it. Oh, I think I've done it too long. Right. making a difference or not this is the got the twigs isn't it yeah. oh my goodness <coughs> that's it when one thing moves everything <laughs> falls down this one should be better a uh, walnut stain so, laid me 
bro. Come on. Only so you don't see the Y edge, and then they say you're not going to see the ink on this paper. Okay, right, let's have a look where we're going to be placing it. Okay, eek. <laughs> Why does the front and back always seem like the most importantest? But it is, isn't it? Cloud. Mind you, it's probably because it takes a little bit longer to dry, but I'm wondering if the cloud doesn't like the, um, the decorators take, the framers take. So that's that. I'm quite happy with that. I know that goes off a little bit, but um, I'm thinking we could probably put some some washi tape down there or a strip of something so let me get those up there right so we need to do the same for this side so i want to get this first and i want it to go over and off and i'm hoping that it won't, you know, bend when the book opens and closes. But it is really good, this tape. It does seem like it's movable. It seems to um, go in creases and things. Right, let's see if we can get this cut off without cutting page okay oh, this one's gonna be difficult yeah it is difficult <laughs> let's go this way <clears throat> Pushing that into that fold. Yeah, that's fine. Because this framers tape is absolutely brilliant. Um, it is on my Amazon favourites, but it is mega sticky. But as you've seen, I can pull it up. It doesn't, you know, once it's stuck, that doesn't mean you can't move it. 
it's kind of like washi tape but movable and a lot more sticky I'm not gonna say she says as she rips the page up <laughs> Come on, Tanya, you're pushing it now. Right, that should be okay for that. It's, um, do that. And on this side. I think I did get the edge of the page just a touch. Stuck onto it, so if I can't can't peel it. Right, let's get this bottom stretch done. And ripped it. Really love this um, piece of paper. Ideal for bookends. Right, so that's gonna go. Is it tall? Oh yes, that is a little bit smaller, isn't it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness me right wow you just assume that they're the same size so really it needs going about there so let me just trim that off oh, I'm glad I just inked it but obviously it was only quick Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I still think it's a little bit wide. Yeah, it is. Well, be careful, don't contact too much off now. Out 
yeah that's fine i think this is could be a little bit awkward i'm gonna have it like that i must remember that it's that way so let's get the glue on we have just approached an hour and um, once i've stuck this on i will pause for a minute while i just grab my um botanical folder uh, and i'll just start getting some out so they're quicker to look through and i'm not going to overdo it but i was just going to put a nice picture of a botanical and um a label just at the back right so did we say it was this way did we yes Okay, so let's get that side right. Let's get yeah, I think. too far down right I don't know if I've gone farther enough out you know I don't think this is um, square at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and put it right on the edge and not have the, the gap all the way around. And I'm going to have to obviously stick some, some glue on it. Yeah, it's definitely not square at all. And I think it's glued everywhere except for here. Mm, I'm not sure if it did need to be thin. Um, not so wide. If it does come up, I could always put some of the um, tape down that middle. I don't think it is though, I think it actually just fits in that ridge. So I think if it's glued down well enough, it will be fine. So yeah, luckily that's still like running, kind of, you know, right. But yeah, that um, page is, is totally wonked. But it's the book. Right, I'm going to pause. But yeah, I think that's fine. Right, see you in a tick. Oops. <laughs> okay, I've got some uh, botanicals out. So we obviously want something tall. Don't want mess or tight. Do something. It does need to be about that that height, I think. Oh, what about this? <coughs> If I cut that down to there, I quite like that, you know. Let's just keep that out. Where's that glass one gone? There. We 
think that would probably be nice, cut, you know, cut out. And it, it looks as if it's pretty simple to, to cut out, she says. I think that's too wide. That would probably be nice as well. Ooh, this one. Or oh, this one. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, you know, I kind of like that. I wonder what that's... You know, neatening up. Um, I'm wondering what that would be. be like. Let's try and get it neatened up a bit. So thank you to those who's... who's been along with me for this journey and say so I've really enjoyed it I don't know why I put off doing an altar book for so long I thought it was going to be you know really quite technical and above my you know knowledge and things but it wasn't um and luckily you know the video that that Sharon did from Mud Paper Crush and then uh Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Joey Defey and Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. They all did videos around the same time and I was kind of ready to, you know, it was on my list of to-dos, but maybe not not yet kind of thing. And then I thought, I luckily stumbled across... Um, a reader's digest because they can be difficult to come 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 round come oh yeah yeah um and especially because the charity shops was shut and stuff um yeah they just happened to be one at the supermarket where sometimes people leave leave books and you just leave a donation so yeah and then it was like oh i'll kind of try it i'll start taking some pages out and see what happens and and there we have it <laughs> oh, a bit wiggly wiggly what's that so yeah i found it very very relaxing it's been, you know, really nice doing a page at a time. Um, very different to, to our normally work. You know, because I'm normally doing X amount of things at a time. So, yeah, it's been, it's been like a, a side, you know, a side hobby. Someone look what that looks. Yes, I do like that. So let's. I'm gonna. Um. Let me just use one of these to ink over because I'm not using that side. I would use the the other side. So. paper colours up really nice it is um an off-white anyway it is virgin on being a cream paper and it seems to take the ink really very nice and um, this book is the frampton um frampton i it is on my if you look for my lazy sunday videos i did do a flip through of this book i think it's called frampton court and it's all the flowers and that that was documented um in this area um Way over, well, what does it say here? 1850, so. And then I think the, the sketchbooks and paintings was found years after. Um, and then they was published. So that's fabulous, isn't it? That I love it that they found something and 
you know fancy somebody painting these and and I'm just sitting there and yeah oh that's lovely so I think that finishes that off nice and then if I can get a nice um book plate there so let's get this glued down so yeah the book is very good for um taller uh, botanicals there's quite a few small ones in as well but a lot of them are quite bushy and and stuff so um i tend to only get it out when i need it to cover um a big area and they're normally perfect And trouble is it is one of those books where this picture's on both sides. I know a lot of people do struggle with that. Um, I'm pretty, you know, I decide which side I want and, and that's it. And, you know, you have to look at what's going to work best for your, for your area. Sometimes it's not so much what's your favourite, it's what's going to work better in your space. that is that see I would have like that to me is is probably one of my favorites but it, it wouldn't have been right for the for the piece um it would have taken too much away and I wanted it to be quite um bare so let's have a look at labels now I've got this big one here from Tina Shabby dabby doo da. No, I don't like that one at all. That's in the neem one, but it's going the wrong way. Oh, that's another one. Oh, from Shabby dabby doo da. My two same. I mean, that's quite humongous, but I'm actually really liking it. It's a bit clashy, that is. So that's not gonna. Hmm. Out of all the greens, I do. I do like that one. I feel like it needs to be over here rather than there. So, no, you know, I am really liking that. Now, I'm going to go for this really big one. I just think it's the other ones just look too small. But 
I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this open. I'm just going to glue the sides. And when um, I do the competition and whoever wins it, I'm going to write um, a little note and, and put it through there. And then, yeah, that'll be nice getting to the end of the book and and then you've got, got a note. So I'm just going to glue it there. Just go a little bit further to there. And to there. Okay. Now, do I want it there? Yeah. Let's just put it this way. So, that is it. <laughs> wow. I feel a bit funny. It's weird, isn't it? Like, wow. What a big thing to have actually finished. I don't think it needs anything anything else. Yeah. So, we've done quite a bit, haven't we, in this one? <laughs> we started with this, which ended up being, you know, more than, more than I thought. Or, yeah, I think I am going to end up having to put some tape there. I'm going to put another lot of glue in there and leave the book open to totally dry and then we'll see see what happens did I just lift something? yeah so yeah I'm going to leave it, leave it open right Thank you very much for joining me. I know it's been a super long video, but I did want to get it finished. Otherwise, you know, the next video wouldn't have been very long at all. It would have been a bit bizarre me just coming on and doing doing this bit. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands. Um yeah, bye for now. Um I will start now on the um the Amazon packaging. Um and start working my way through that. I want to make lots of nice things for it. Um, I wish I'd have made another Amazon one up at the same time, but I can always do one uh, another time. But it's a bit shocking me working on one thing, like I say. But I do think it does work because I do think then, like, you know, you're not rushing to then do do the, the next one. Um, so, yeah. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Let's have one final. Let's put a string in. So, that is it. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. I'm so glad I went with that for the cover. Um, I've got a diff two, two different um, possibilities for the spine. Um, so, yeah, I will have a mess about and see see what we end up with. So, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.